Okay, I'm just uh, talking with Greg here about what went down in, in the camp today. He's gonna tell us about uh, Friday up until today, so. Um, so Friday, I was standing out in front of my tent and uh, the police came along and it was going from basically from door to door or from camp to camp. And they asked me, they says, where do you live at, sir? And I says, I live in this tent right here. And he says, well, we don't need to talk to you then. I said, okay. Well, make a long story short, we go to a hotel last night. I come back this morning and everything's completely gone. You were in a tent. Yep, I was in a tent. Now, if they were going to take up my tent, why didn't they tell me that whenever they told the people in the RVs that they had to go? I think they lied. What do you think? I think so, too. I mean, if if the police are going to steal everything that I have, that what, what happened to, uh, you know, to serve and protect? Yeah. I don't know how you feel about the police, but I've definitely got my own opinions. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time with it, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I mean, I pay taxes just like anybody else, and I don't think I should be paying somebody money to steal my stuff. Yeah. What did you lose? What'd they take? Well, a couple tents, um, my clothes, just all, I mean, just numerous items, you know. So you have no clothes and no tent. Yeah, you're gonna be okay tonight? Oh yeah. Alright. Just okay. real pissed off about the whole thing. What else you wanna say? Had they said that the tent's gotta go, I would have had my stuff out of here. Uh, you know, no well not here, but I would have had my stuff out of there and it would have been a no problem. I'd still have my things. They don't want you to have your things. Do they? Well, I guess not, but I, I gotta exist too. You gotta survive. Right. Yeah, I got a problem with uh, that little piece of uh, human dignity. I don't even care what your story is. I don't care where you've been, where you haven't been. You're trying to survive. Right. I'm, I'm trying sorry. to do it peacefully. Yeah, you are. To where I don't affect other people's lives in any kind of way, whether it be good or bad. I just try to do my own thing and- Mind your business? Yeah, mind my business. And it's a crime. Yeah. That's a damn crime. You know they're sanctioning places in Denver for camps, and you know the mayor just sanctioned a, a section downtown for, for, for camping? What, do you find them or something? No, they're, they're, they're sanctioning land. Hancock, the mayor, is sanctioning land for the homeless to camp on. And instead of this land, he picks a little tiny sliver right in downtown while they do this to you guys out here where you're living along the river in an industrial area. There's no residential. And all they had to do was sanction that piece of property to leave you there and he wouldn't do it. They came in there and blew it up, stole your stuff, called it a fire hazard, right? I mean, it needed cleaned up. Would you agree? Oh well, yeah. Yeah, there's I mean, no, there's, no, there's no doubt there. But this was definitely not the way to do it. No. <laughs> All right, Greg, thank you. All right, thank you.